Hi everybody, it's Claire with a project for the Scrap FX design team. Today I'm playing in my craft journal from Dina Wakeley and I'm starting off adding some Dina Wakeley collage paper onto the background. Um, I'm going to be using a mixture of Scrap FX things today, um, but this is going to be quite a simple page for me, quite pared back um, compared to what I often do. So this is uh, some of the white collage paper and um, it comes in a pack with black collage paper too. And then I'm starting off with the carpet rug stencil from Scrap FX and I'm using um, sand, the sand paint colour from Dina Wakeley. Then I'm using, um, actually I tell a lie, I think that was apricot first and then this is sand and I'm just painting on some circle shapes onto the background. So these are going to kind of reflect the uh, stamp that I'm going to be using from Scrap FX, which is the Flower Power stamp. And here we have it. So I'm just going to stamp some of these onto a piece of white printer paper using a brayer and a penny, which is one of the lovely um, metallic colours from Dina Wakeley. Um, this is a really nice stamp. I really like how this comes out. So I stamped this um, a couple of times onto this paper and then once it was dry, I then started to cut them out. So I'm going to use these as collage elements on the page. So then I'm just spending a bit of time auditioning them and trying to decide where to put them where they're going to work best. Um, then I decided that I didn't like the white centres so I cut those out and uh, once I'd done that I did feel a little bit happier with how they looked on the page. The white centres didn't really work and um, just the little flashes of white were working much better. So once I'd done that they seemed to sit better. So you can see also on the left hand page I've just got positioned um, a piece of Vintage ephemera. This is from a collage sheet by Scrap FX. I'm just going to be sticking that in place using some gel medium. Um, this is a great sheet of collage elements that um, is is easy to use really on on all sorts of pages. So then I'm using my double sided tape gun and I'm just sticking these little collage uh, stamped elements into place. And um, you can see I'm keeping quite a neutral palette with this page, keeping it quite simple and um, trying to let some of the background show through. It's not something that comes naturally to me. I'm not often very good at leaving um, space on my pages. I guess you can't really call this white space because it's on craft paper. But um, yeah, I think the craft journal lends itself really well to uh, leaving space on the pages because the colours do work so well against the craft background. This is a, a Tim Holtz um, photograph image um, which comes in a pack. Um, and they're really nice to use as well. Then I'm just using the pit marker pen and I'm just adding some shadows onto some of these uh, stamped collage elements just to help them pop out a little bit. These are some other collage elements that I was just deciding which ones would work best on the page. I spent a while faffing about with those. And then I decided to add some black splatters onto the page. And then I stuck these collage, uh, botanical collage elements in place. Yeah, that one definitely worked better there. Using PVA glue to just pop those in place. And then finally, just adding a quote from one of the Tim Holtz chipboard quotes. Um, I've pulled the backing off it so it's a little bit thinner and easier to stick in place. And there we go. That's the finished page. So quite a neutral page for me. A neutral palette of colours, um, but really quite effective. Sorry about the dog barking. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.